Now let's talk about another very important factor which is gaming. So let me play a few heavy games for you and show you how well it performs. I have tested it on some of these games. I'm going to play Asphalt 8 Airborne first and show you how well it delivers the graphics here. It is one of the heaviest games that we have played. Then I'll show you the benchmarks on Antutu and Nina Mark 2 and talk about the specifications of the Samsung Galaxy Alpha Exynos variant which we are testing here. It drifts very easy, it gives you superb graphics, there are no frame drops, there is no loss of detailing, the graphics are coming out to be super amazing on the asphalt 8 here as you can see in front of you. And we wrecked the car. Let's get out of this game and play one more game which is uh, the Frontline Commando 2 version 3 which is another good judge of the touch screen responsiveness because it requires precise touch inputs. As you can see the graphics are very very smooth here. The overall control of the player, graphics quality and overall feel of the game is very good. The speakers are fairly loud unless you hold it like this. They are very loud and there are hardly any chances of holding it like this because this is a natural position in which the speakers will anyways stay exposed. Now let's talk benchmarks and this phone does not disappoint. In fact, it amazes us with a superb high score of 49,403. This is the maximum that we have seen so far on any device. When we compare it with the charts or we see the bar charts, it is higher than any other phone that we have seen on this list on Antutu version 5.1. This is amazingly high and it runs using an octa-core chipset by Exynos, which is again by Samsung. It uses a Mali T628 GPU, the Exynos series CPU, there is 2 GB of RAM, you get 32 GB internal memory which is not expandable but anyways you get close to 25 GB free storage space on the Samsung Galaxy Alpha which should be enough for most of the users because you can install a lot of games as well as carry a lot of data and need not worry about running out of storage. Let me quickly show you the storage settings here and as you can see after installing the games I still have 23.3 GB at my disposal which is a lot of internal memory for a normal user. On Nina Mark 2 graphics benchmark, we also get a score of 59.9 frames per second, which is top notch. This is running at 1280 by 720 pixels display resolution and has Mali T628 GPU powering it. It simply means that you can throw any game at it and it will be able to play with ease, which has been our experience with the games that we have played on this phone.